Unge Beast. I would say uh, Keith. <laughs> Keith Nail. Colby, in the early days, he gave me a lot of competition. Uh, you know, uh, Grave Digger James was one of the toughest guys. Biggest challenge based, Joe Anglum. Obviously, Joe. Joe Anglum. Like, it's not even close. Oh, I'm going to have to say Terry Dietz in his first season. Well, maybe this close because Ozzy's pretty good, but Joe's, Joe lives for this stuff. Best villain, that would definitely be Russell Hans. Russell freaking Hans. I guess I would say Russell Hans. Russell. Russell Hans is the best villain. Like, I, don't, I don't know why you may be thinking about anybody else. You know, Sari was definitely one of the trickiest people that I've ever seen play the game. Johnny Fairplay hadn't have lied about his grandma, hadn't have been such an evil, rotten little... Let's see, should we give it to uh, Chaos Cass? Yeah, Chaos Cass. Hands down, Russell Hands is the best villain. I mean, come on. Best blind side. I think that my blind side was pretty badass. The best blind side was when they took me out my first season. I didn't see it coming. Parvati and her Black Widow Brigade with the double idols. JT. Ha ha, he shouldn't have voted me out. <laughs> Best blind side. Wow. I'm thinking Steven Fishback in this last season. We got we got my boy Steve out pretty that was pretty good. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. When Cliff Robinson got uh blindsided, that uh definitely caught me uh, by surprise. Biggest flirt, really? Parvati? Even though Poverty's a sweetheart. She's got to be the biggest flirt. For me, the biggest flirt was obviously my wife, Amber. Poverty. Poverty's the biggest flirt. She flirts right now. Like, we're not even playing the game and she flirts with everybody. Poverty comes to mind. Poverty. Best strategist, Boston Rob. I think myself, I put myself out there. I'm always thinking about what my next move is going to be. I think Jeremy... Uh, I'm a Boston Rob. I, I think of Russell Hance because I've met him and I feel like he was still strategizing. Best strategist? I would have to say myself, I mean... <laughs> People do not realize that I am a very strategic player, but I'm lulling you in as we're going through the game so you don't even see it anymore. Best person that's never won but probably should have won? I have to say Russell. Probably Russell Hands. He should have won it. Russell, he should have won, but he didn't finish the job. So I'm going to say Russell. You know what? I'm going to go with Joe on that one as well. Best player to never win, if you're looking at him. Best person who never won but should have, I think it's Serena. Best person who never won but should have? 